Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and I'm here on a rather nice day at Pete's Air Gun Farm and uh, I'm here to show you an old friend of mine which is my, uh, it's soon to be my backup um, competition gun but I've used this in quite a lot of competition um, competitions over the years. A few field target and obviously now I do the hunter field target um, and this has been a very reliable, um, superb performing gun. It's based on the Air Arms S400, um, the classic action, so it's the standard length uh, cylinder, uh, pneumatic action, and then I've slowly modified it. Um, it may come across as a bit Heath Robinson, but um, believe me, when you get down in the prone position, um, you, there's few guns you'd prefer to be behind than this. I've basically added the, I've taken off the standard um, air arms butt pad and put on a more concave version here. It's a terrible fit, I'm not saying otherwise, but that in the shoulder is spot on. Um, I've had the pistol grip machined away by a friend there just to give you a bit more grip and um, give you that, that thumb up shelf position. Um, and then moving to the trigger, they're pretty good um, proper two stage triggers on these um, 400s. Um, I've had this one modified by um, the, the sort of full modification from Dave Wellham at Airmasters and um, he actually changes the um, pivot points and reduces the weight still further. Um, I've just, it's all quite a crude little bit of plastic on the top of that blade but in use um, it just trips so sweetly. Um, it's very predictable, extremely light. Um, I am a bit obsessed with triggers, but if I'm satisfied with that, it gives you some idea as to just how good it is now. Moving to the fore end with the HFT, uh, we've got a, a deep um, <coughs> raised part of the fore end there. Again, it's, um, it's fairly crude, but it works, and that stands for a lot in, um, in these things. Uh, moving to the front, I've tended to have gone back to a, a silencer. Um, which I've found that this, this is still an extremely accurate gun and it's super quiet. So sometimes you just uh, gotta make that decision. Um, interestingly, this year, um, the organizers of the national UK AHFT rounds have changed the ruling and allowed um, wind indicators. And as you can see there, this is a rather, again, basic, simple, but it works. And this is from my field target days. Um, it's just a bit of, a bit of pipe cleaner or bent wire, I'm sure you can get all, all anything like that which will do the job. Um, and it will give you an idea of wind direction and speed. And um, it, whereas the wind's not always doing what, what it's doing at your end, um, further down range, a lot of the time it's very consistent and that gives you a really good idea. Um, these rather Radical bars here, that's all purely, that's from Dave Willem at Airmasters again. It's just counterweight, but it does. I like a forward um, leading rifle for uh, balance, and that really does bring it to the front. Um, this particular one's unregulated, but um, I've actually got, I'm so impressed with the 400 that I've decided to stick to what I know, and I've got another 400 action coming, uh, <clears throat> and a few special tweaks and uh, features and I'll, um, I'll be showing those to you at some point. So that's the Air Arms 400, but my custom version.